Right now I'm going to show you real quickly how to make slip for slipping and scoring and working on your pieces when you need your gluing agent. So I grabbed a plastic container. Um, actually I normally prefer like a yogurt container um, or a, like a half peanut butter container. But normally I just take some clay and especially since you're at the at home working versus being in the lab. The lab usually you know it becomes this consistency. So one thing you can do, I'm going to make this with wet clay directly, but a lot of times what I would do, just to talk about steps, break it up into little pieces like this and then let it dry all the way. It'll break down faster for making a slip. If you're in a hurry like I'm going to be right now, you could still put the clay in there, add a little bit of hot water, and it's almost like you're going to make mud. I'm going to take my stick, the carving tool, and you just start smashing the pieces a bit. You might need to get your hands in there. So technically, first time you'll get yourself really dirty maybe. It's making the slip for slipping and scoring. So I'm just breaking this up and adding the water in. Um, if you've ever cooked or baked, it's like putting water in flour a little bit, but the flour's already been clumpy and wet. So, so and it takes a little bit of work. But you can see that it's starting to break down. And like I said, if you have more time, go ahead, since we're in Phoenix, or in the area where we're in a desert, take the little pieces outside, give them about an hour, they'll dry out really fast. And then just add hot water, and they break down. Breaking it down by hand takes a little bit longer, but it can be done. Okay, so now, Eventually what happens is you're going to want to put a lid on this container and as you start running out just add a little bit more. I, what I usually do is the same thing. I dry out another couple little pieces of clay or the project I'm working on, any excess. Remember how I keep, um, you're going to see videos where I'm always saving my excess. Some of my excess I turn into slip like this really quick. So, and at, at home probably be using like a popsicle stick for this or you could use your fork. Here's my fork. You can actually just, like you're scoring a piece, just, just break it down. So now, part, you know, I'm gonna push the thicker pieces out of the way, pour the slip down, and now this is what's ready for slipping and scoring, okay?